Shalom, giving all praise to the whole bunch of my shared bunch of my carpet. That Shalom to the whole crew left out there. Real quick, this I'm going to entitle this video Old Maps from the 1700s Prove or well, Proves that the people of uh, West Africa are Israelites. The long title, but anyway, you got here a picture, and these were, you know, European navigators, Italians, and so forth. Ultimately, the Dutch came in, and other Europeans. You know, you had the Dutch. You know, uh, involved in the African trade and colonizing. You know, Africa, parts of Africa. You had the Portuguese, which were involved in the slave trade, along with the Spaniards and the English. And of course, the American, so-called European, which is a, a clearly a um, fulfillment of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Now, when you go to the book of Deuteronomy uh, chapter 28, it speaks about the curses under you will go, these curses will follow you from whether, whatever nation you go to. So it's not one event. You know, Deuteronomy chapter 28 is not a curse that said, that means this and that, this is going to happen. And the fulfillment, the fulfillment of that is when the Babylonians took you down. Or the fulfillment of that, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 16, is when the Romans occupied Palestine and made you tributary to them, meaning you paid taxes. See, the Romans, the Romans, if you go back to the history of uh, the Romans and the Israelites, we're talking like two 2,000 years ago, which Jake eventually took over. You know, the first, uh, and I've said this before, the first Caesars, the first Caesar was uh, Julius Caesar, which his name was Caesar. So when he mentioned the Caesar, they don't mention his name, but he was actually the first uh, Caesar. So when you do the history on the Caesars, and he, even in their books, it tells you the first Caesar, the first emperor was a man by the name of Julius Caesar. And then you had others that were known as Caesar became a title. The Russian czar, the word czar is a Russian way of saying Caesar. Or uh, I believe Khazar is another way of saying Caesar. There's another way. Yeah, you, got, you got czar. Well, even in the, in, in the States, in, in, in the Americas, in the U.S., you have certain departments of government where you have czars. You're just the czar of, uh, you know, the Department of Motor Vehicles. He's the czar of this. He's the czar of that. So that that word czar goes back to Caesar. Caesar. Oh, Kaiser. Kaiser. The 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 German rulers during the time uh, before World War One and going into World War Two, they were called czars. You had a, uh, what was it? Um, if you go to Revelation chapter nine, it speaks about the angel of the bottomless pit. Well, that was, uh, what Zah was that? I hadn't gone through this in a while. Um, not Zah, Nicholas, but she was a Zah. There was a premier or the Zah of Germany during the time of World War I. Can't even think of the, the actual name. But it'll come back to me. It'll come back to me. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's what happens when you get old. Um, Give me a second. Let me do this. Let me do this.
It was a Kaiser, I'm sorry, Kaiser, Kaiser Wilhelm, or Kaiser Wilhelm II, the reign of which he he was a he was a king. It wasn't a uh, he wasn't elected as president. He was actually a king, and Caesar goes back to uh, uh, Caesar. So it says the reign of uh, uh, Caesar. Now, what was it called in uh, the the uh, Russia? It was called um, I believe it was called czars. Yeah, czars. Which all go back to Caesar. Bear me for a minute. I pulled it up on my, my smartphone. Okay, Caesar. Wil Wilhelm the second, the reign of Caesar Wilhelm the second, is as king. So during the time of the eight, the late eighteen hundreds, going into the early nineteen hundreds, during World War One. Now, what does it say? Um, the angel of the bombless pit was King or Czar uh, Wilhelm the Second. It says uh, <coughs> as as king of Prussia, which is Germany, and emperor of Germany from 1888 to 1918, saw the meteoric rise of Germany as an economic and military power. There's a whole, that's a whole nother lesson um, centered around why there was a World War One and a World War Two, and they both started behind Germany. There's a reason behind it, but that's a whole different, you know, that's a whole different topic as to why there was a war between, you know, Brit Britain and the Allied forces. Um, anyway, let's get back into this. I just wanted to cover this lessons within lessons. Please forgive me. But anyway, these maps were made by, were put together by uh, map makers. What do they call them? Cartographer, to cartography, I believe that's the term, which is a map make maker. That wasn't fancy way of saying a map, map maker. Because you had to make maps because you had to know what you were going on ships. So it says uh, right here, it says Kingdom of Judah location during the time of the 1700s. Who put this map together? Europeans put this map together. You got Nigeria. You got Jake living all throughout Nigeria, on Nigeria. The Ibu or the Hebrews. Cameroon. Jake came out of Cameroon. Chad. Niger, Mali, Mauritania. You got the island called uh, Cape Verde. You got a boxer by the name of uh, Demetrius Andrade. Uh, he's a world champion boxer out of uh, Rhode Island, I believe Providence. And his line goes back to the Cape Verde people. They're beautiful people. The women are gorgeous. And can do, take out some time and, and uh, Put in Cape Verde, you know, put in images, and you see the, you know, the woman. A very beautiful. They look, they look kind of like Simeonites, you know. Uh, Senegal. That's Jake lived all up in Senegal, G Gambia. These are all Jakes right here. Ivory Coast, Ghana, Tago. Ben, ben, ning, ben, ning, ben meaning sons of, and I believe if you go back uh, far enough, I think it's Beni, Benin, Beninim, which would be sons, but Ben is son in Hebrew. And their language is close to the Hebrew language. When they greet each other, 
I don't know if they do that now, but when they greet each other, they'll say, Shalama, Shalama. Where'd they get that from? Because they were living in the land of Israel. Cameroon, you have Jake's all through there. Then you have out of, uh, I believe, the Bantu people, if not the Benin people, the Bantu people that migrated down into South Africa, which is the Zulus, they call the Zulus. The ancient Zulus, they originally were Bantu people, so they were Israelites. And then you had Jake, you, you had the, you had uh, uh, Hannibal, Hannibal, it was in North Africa, it wasn't in West Africa. And his kingdom was called Katharism. When you looked up that word up, uh, Hannibal Barker, Barker is a uh, Hebrew word, Me, depending on how you say it, it either means blessed or lightning. You can say Barak or Barak. Barak is lightning. And his name was prob probably meant lightning because he came down on the Romans. The Romans went to conquer that land. They never conquered it. Never conquered it. So, you know, Hannibal Baca, the Israelite, he said, I'm going to be going to take over Rome, but he couldn't take over Rome because he lost many of his men going on over the Alps Mountains. And uh, he lost a great deal number of the men, but that was all done by the hands of the Most High because the Roman Empire was supposed to be great because the Most High established the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire had its great rule because that was a fulfillment of prophecy. So all these people right here, all you so-called Negroes in America that woke up to the fact that the Israelites, most likely you came, if you're a Judah, Benjamin and Levi, or you have the Lambda, the Lambda, which are Israelites. You have small hats, JJs that say that the Lambda tribe, which are so-called black people. There's more so-called black Jews than there are white Jews. And you have small hats or JJs that would admit that. So if the, the, Jew, the Jews are actually black, then we can't be the Jews. We're so-called black. So anyway, let's move on. You have another map here. You can hardly see it. You need like a magnifying glass. Uh, let me see something. Okay, let me do this. This is Negro land. Uh, let me see here. Okay, you see right there? King, kingdom of Judah. Jew, J-U-D-A. Sometimes you spell it J-U-D-A or J-U-D-A-H, Judah. And it says wider, wider. That's another way of saying, I believe it's the French way, but I believe French is quieter. But wider is also Judah. Because we would say, we wouldn't say Judah, we would say Yahweh. So it says Waida. Slave coast. You have, uh, you know, Bishop, uh, Bishop Nathan, you're going into a lot of these maps. Which they be getting down. We'll give them credit. We'll give them credit. We'll give you credit where credit is due. So you got Benin, which they were Israelites, kingdom of Benin. You have a fort called Fort Judah. Oh, the wider people, let me see something. Where is it? Where is wider? The wider is right here, right? The wider kingdom or the Judah kingdom was taken over by the Dehomey, which were Israelites that took over other Israelites. And Israelites sold other Israelites. There was this one particular king that was selling his wives to the so called white men. And we didn't put these maps together. These are Europeans that put this uh, map together.
It tells you in Deuteronomy 28, a nation from far speaking a language that you don't understand. That's talking about, it started with the Romans all the way up, up, up until this time period. Okay, let me do this. Okay, this is a beautiful map right here. This is the same map, but it's a close-up. As you can see, this stands for kingdom. Let me do something. Let me do this. Kingdom of Judah. Or wider, which is another way of saying Jews are trying to say yeah, Yahuda, Yahuda, slave coast. There it, there it is again. Wider, wider. Judah F. Then he had a fort called Fort Judah. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.